is of violent content. Parental discretion is advised. It's fucking violent because this is N3 Radio and the SNAF and this is our fucking launch party. Whoop whoop, motherfuckers! Much N3 love for all you psycho fucks brave enough and crazy enough to tune into the SNAF doing a launch party for the official full power steam rolling abilities of N3 Radio. Okay, back there. It's Freedom 90. George Michael. That other one was uh, Watsky and Hey Asshole. And that had uh, featuring Kate Nash. Watsky's a pretty good dude. Uh, he does the song I Don't Give a Fuck, which I right fucking like, because I sure as fuck don't give a fuck. Yep, that's a snap. Not giving a fuck. Mm-hmm. N3 Radio and the snap. Launch party. Mm-hmm. I like music pounding out in my ears. Mm-hmm. I like the tunes that you play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fiona Apple and Criminal. She's back from the 90s era. Did a few things since then, but not much, really. Guns N' Roses, Patience. Bit of music. Uh, what should I call this? Music minding abilities or something stupid. I'll figure something out. I'm going to do a show. I'm going to add a lot of this shit content that I'm going to fill your mind sacks up with. Anyways, Patience, Guns N' Roses. It used to be a track that Axl Rose in the day would use to warm up his vocal stretching chord abilities to belt out those power fucking tones and lyrics for us all. So, they bitched and they whined and they moaned and they groaned and the fucking industry got their way. And hence, we have Patience by Guns N' Roses. That song was never intended to ever hit the lies tape. Yes, I said tape cassette. Back when that track came out, it was on tapes. We didn't have fucking CDs then. We had just left vinyl and gone to those little smaller tapes. Anyways, enough dating my fucking old ass fuck. That's my hose head over there. Him's chewing a bone. You might hear that go tank a tank a tank or something like that. Because this is a balls to the wall live and definitely out there launch party at N3 Radio and I am the SNAF. So I think we shall start this next off with um, a band called King Missile. And this song is called uh, Detachable Penis. Yep, I said Detachable Penis. I woke up this morning with a bad hangover and my penis was missing again. This happens all the time, it's detachable. This comes in handy a lot of the time. I can leave it home when I think it's going to get me in trouble, or I can rent it out when I don't need it. But now and then I go to a party, get drunk, and the next morning I can't, for the life of me, remember what I did with it. First I looked around my apartment and I couldn't find it. So I called up the place where the party was, they hadn't seen it either. I asked them to check the medicine cabinet, cause for some reason I leave it there sometimes, but not this time. So I told them if it pops up to let me know. I called a few people who were at the party, but they were no help either. I was starting to get desperate. I really don't like being without my penis for too long. It makes me feel like less of a man, and I really hate having to sit down every time I take a leap. After a few hours of searching the house and calling everyone I could think of, I was starting to get very depressed, so I went to the Kiev and ate breakfast. Then as I walked down 2nd Avenue towards St. Mark's Place, where all those people sell used books and other junk on the street, I saw my penis lying on a blanket next to a broken toaster oven. Some guy was selling it. I had to buy it off him. He wanted 22 bucks, but I talked him down to 17. I took it home, washed it off, and put it back on. I was happy again, complete. People sometimes tell me I should get it permanently attached, but I don't know. 
Even though sometimes it's a pain in the ass, I like having a detachable penis.
Word up, that motherfucker's gonna get my medal. Shout out, boss man, boss lady. They're out there busting the funny bone right now. Uh, stand-up comedian for this week is Eddie Izzard. I uh, find them people out there right now on blogtalkradio.com slash uh, N3 radio. Go give them fucking epic people some love because they're the psychos that fucking let Snap do this open house party. I'm going to shut up now because this is Metallica. N3 radio's got you set. <laughs> <laughs> 